the cool thing about VR is that you could paint in a three-dimensional space. My name is George Beasley. Today I painted Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. I took one of the most recognizable paintings out there, which is the Starry Night, and I uh, used one of the brushes that's available on Tilt Brush that kind of mimics this stippling and, you know, impressionist brush style, and uh, just kind of started painting it just kind of have to see the depth in it, in your mind, and then just kind of lay it out and hope that the perspective lines up. Uh, what I did was I actually had a reference photo with me in Tilt Brush, and I could continue to just, you know, squat down to the same spot and just line everything up to make sure that, you know, that the church was the height it should be. Specifically, when I painted the little town, uh, I used the flat marker tools because I didn't want to just use the same bristled brush that I was using for the, in the rest of the painting. I've noticed that there were actually some uh, additional houses to the left of the church that I never actually realized in the original painting. The essence of the painting is essentially like the, the colors that Vincent van Gogh picked. So I definitely wanted to replicate and use that. The, specifically with like all the pieces that I want to recreate, um, you know, you really have to look at every inch of it that like, you know, really emphasizes the impressionistic style. As I'm painting this guy, like that's the bread and butter of the Starry Night piece and the, the brush that his Intel brush is was perfect for it. The number of stars there are, it's just you, you pick up on the things that are already there that you probably just scan over and say, this is, you see it as a whole, but you actually have to pick it apart. When I finished it, just like kind of standing there and looking at it and being able to interact with it and, you know, being able to fly over the town and like, the scenery that you know you create, but it's so iconic, it feels like you have a little bit of an existential moment of, whoa, this is the 21st century. Super Cake